even when I have the conversation with X, even till today, it's like, you know, you know what I, what kind of went down, right? Or as far as you know what I know, you know? Um, so I don't know. It wasn't, and, and, and it was always sold out to be some sort of malish, malicious type of thing. I even saw tweets from, you know, um, you know, saying that was selfish. And, 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 and in hindsight, it may have been. Selino Senzo Villa Gazi. I don't even know what I've said with Senzo over the past 10 years. But you and I both know him as Questa. I know him from back in the day. Some babas and memes I knew what this moment would come when he would get his shine and the glory that this man deserves. I'm glad Unkulunkulu made it happen in my lifetime. I'm proud of you, Mfit. Yeah. Yeah. Good to be here, man. I yeah. know, yeah. 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 very good to be here, man. Thank you so much. And and even in my intro days, you know, John Bushok, Dalung Babaza from back then. I remember we did a couple jingles and there was a show. At, hey, it's near Ninja. What are you a lot of the stuff you're so going out. So I really appreciate it. It's good to be here after so long. When you are a radio DJ, you sometimes claim um, glory of a lot of artists' success because sometimes you are proven right mm. on songs or artists that are still new that other people don't see greatness in. Mm. And when are you like, guys, guys, listen here. Guys, listen here. Now to your mama's a little moon, abanya bam, tabalam to the seas. And you're like, but, yeah. but guys, you know? <laughs> and I want us to take it there. I, I think you've told your story on numerous platforms, but mm. Mina, now we go back to the YFM days. Yes. And I think this interview is also to give each other flowers. Yeah. Because Mina, Italy at Khrutman, from Wuchrutman, Yati Ankel, Konama is about a timer. So you say it's a timer. So you say it's a timer. So you say it's a timer. I figure it's a Wuchrutman. Eish, eh, ni Lucy. Nzami, look at delay as long as possible. But I mean, Uguti, and you can't have power over it. Mautlan energy, no more chance. Maybe, you know, some of the rappers, like, ah, sure, sure, chance. Ah, Wuchrutman. Ah, Wuchrutman, you know? There's nothing I can do anymore. Kalen Beglungi, I don't want Wuchrutman. That's a figure. You know, but now it's time to embrace. I mean, I'm 35 years old old you know so um and i've been sort of in this game for 16 years so i guess vele it sits well with uh, you it's time to kind of embrace it you know? yeah you know, it's it's time to take vele that 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 position and go yeah it's been a, it's a while since um since we last spoke it's a while since the yfm days it's a while literally 2007 was the first time i heard myself on radio and that's when i really started saying okay i'm in the game and that was 16 years ago so it's 16 16 true. years ago it's 16 that's 16 true. years ago that's a that's a that's a verse in a hip-hop song you know true, <laughs> it's a whole true, verse no rest in peace to our fate of sheila yeah let's talk pro manager off camera mm. And um, there's a lot of guys who've had an impact in the game, and just the fact you would have lived to be to be this old. For me, I'm, I mean, I'm just grateful to live every day in faith. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just living and waking up every morning is just a is just a blessing. Iponas. Yeah. Agunye for me, Iponas. Yeah. Just waking yeah. up in the morning, I'm just thankful. Mm -hmm. However the day goes, whatever happens, angnanda. You know, yeah. Whether I'm against the same thing, any or whatever, I'm not. It's long and peeling, peeling, and you know what I mean. And how's the family life? The family life is beautiful. You know, um, there's a lot of things going on in terms of um, music industry and the, the just the world outside of 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 that house. You know, but everything that's within those walls, you know, is pretty beautiful. You know, that's in the walls of my family. That is, you know, it's 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 the one part of my life that is pretty you know 
you know, I, every time I go in there, I feel there's a certain peace and a certain love and a certain sort of, you know, trying hope because Ningmo says you too, no, you know, uh, two little. Oh, girls you got two little house. ones yeah, now. Yeah, I got ah, two little girls exactly. in the house, you know. Yeah, so the feeling is just seeing, being hopeful for them, you know, and it's 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 just beautiful, man. Um, I really, a lot of the times, I wanna, you you start to think, a lot of people have been telling me this, you know, I'm an and I buy this, I didn't know, but. You know, um, which is a, a a fair question, you know, because um, but generally it's 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 what takes me outside instead instead of keep me inside. It's the reason um, you do some of the things you do. You know, it's the, it's the reason I. It's the inspiration. I'm not inspired anymore by the things that I was inspired by in 2007. Yeah, you know, 2007 yeah, being yeah. inspired as a and this that and the third. Right now, inspiring nice. You know, now Uncle Moon, you know, they they kind of take me out there and, and and you know light my fire a bit. So um, it's beautiful to see, man. I'm learning. You know, I've uh, been a father for. Uh, what ten years now? I think uh, my my oldest is ten, uh, youngest two. You know, but there's new things every every time. You know, because these are different ages. I was to you can't treat a ten year old like you would a three year old. You know? So you're learning from them also, and you're learning to handle these situations. And it's quite the challenge. I'm in no way an expert. You know, but I'm enjoying the process of learning. You know, young Khazar, I think you could see. I mean, there's no time. Just embracing the whole thing of man, no time, and everything. It's just been a beautiful journey for me. Like, Have they started understanding the uh, situation in time ago? My, get, my daughter, used, in she used to get irritated when people keep stopping me for pictures. But as she started getting older, she sort of started getting it. Yeah, my, my oldest understands fully. Um, Kai really now understands. But now, because of Buzuti, daddy... Why be shooter now? Like why won't you just ask sugar out of nowhere as a funu shooter now? You know, and then you kind of set her down, and we had to explain this, and this is before we even shot Inya's failure because she's in the video, right? And that man, so daddy does this and daddy does that. Loge manje, um, the youngest who's two, say crash no, magabu a crash just one day. Ubuzu mama kafut, mami. Is Daddy Questa? <laughs> <laughs> Shock of my life, right? And it's still so good, still. She's promenade and just sends it, sends out like this. Just out of nowhere, man. Is Daddy Questa? No, no, my grand pair and I'm young pair. It's like what? You know, um, we touch up and then. Manje, I'm I've almost stressed a a crash. Yeah, yeah, I guess I've um I'm like, hey, how's Baba going this, that, and the third? So she does, but she's too young to kind of fully understand the concept of what that means or what that is, you know. And so I just say, yeah, yeah, you know, that's daddy's other name, you know. And and in the timings on Begela Fandi one, you know. Um and and also Magvele TV, you know, no, but hey, daddy, daddy, but she still she hasn't asked questions about yeah. why you say TV, you know, it's not that strange to her because I think she thinks one come to say TV. Um, you know, it's like that's my friend, that's my other friend, that's my oh, that's my daddy. So I'm mangas in the way there's life and then there's the TV and what what yet. So as soon as she starts asking those questions, but zoom check, but sega away via a crash guti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and also the pictures in malls also. I think, but you know, I want to yeah. take it at her pace and kind of wait for the questions and then try and make her understand. Uh, I mean, uh, also for the new artists right now who are bubbling under, so for the lack of a better word, mm. guys who are taking long to sort of blow up or who feel like it's taking mm. long to blow up, that, that's where I want to start your story because I yeah. was there. Yeah. You know, as I was saying, I was rooting for you from the beginning. Yeah. Um, uh, from you working with um, Slecker yes. in the beginning. Yes. I was there in the beginning just watching you do your thing and just being dope on the mic and I always used to because I ended up working with Pro mm. when I know Pro you've just always been my my msin, I used to make msindo about you guys yeah. on YFM yeah. maybe let, let's talk a little bit about that for us <coughs> to start a bubbling and I mean what what does it take and uh, when do I say <coughs> maybe this is not working I should go and look for a job or, or should I should I should I hustle while doing this thing how did it um, unfold for you because I know it took long for you to it did to uh, really blow up it took quite some time you know uh, from even before 
Lampen Kala, Uspana was slick, you know, which was 2007. Um, Bengspana Machet, um Africa's most southern records, AMS. But Begui, you know, Skim Samachant and his studio, and no, not necessarily with the record label that had done anything from before. Ever. Yeah. So, um, it took a lot. I mean, Mina Guti riding at Mangi Kala was really um, just as a hobby. English. So I, I like language. It's not necessarily English. Didn't like Afrikaans, however. But um, <laughs> same here, same here. <laughs> like like Afrikaans, sure. oh, oh. until they then said, "We're well, Africans. We are failure." Then now you have to <laughs> study. Men we cream, like, men we cream. You know, do you want bluff? <laughs> uh, <but laughs> I can't be out sure. <laughs> Uh, so I, I used to love the language and stuff. So whenever there was a chance to try creative writing, you know, uh, e speech, nan nan, you know, creative speeches about whatever. That that's when I relished that moment. So I I really appreciated creative writing, but it wasn't in any way, shape, or form rhythmic or or musical. You know, Benzi Tandela, just how the language in Jayuti it's so broad and yonkin, you know. And then that sort of slowly connected out to Kelesa and Moses Tladi. In Kelezana High School, um, he got me into rapping, right? Or into rap music. You know? Started playing with Squatter Camp, H2O, um, some of the American stuff also, in, about Eminem and all those things, you know. And I was like, because I mean, we're a long way corner. We're forced to know, you know. So, but I don't know how he got into the rap. I mean, I was deep into just um, TKZ, you know, Buga, Solo, Marquez, Solo, you know. Th those are my guys, you know, and that was the music I was listening to. Um, so, I was going to rap. 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 But then I started just writing and rhyme. Something I called poetry, but maybe if I find a page or two as Akdala, no one would ever call it poetry today. Um, <laughs> it was just some whack stuff, some high school gibberish. Everything is chill, good, and cute. You know, which here and there, you know. So I started writing those and and using them as my example, let us see, for creative writing and things like that. And and I really got into this language thing, you know. I guess this is the then the love of the punchline started coming in because um, I realized that in your language you could take one word and make it mean three different things or one phrase, just depending on which how you enunciate uh, the different words. They could like it, you could manipulate the whole language, and I fell in love with that, and I started doing that in that little poetry. And then you out dawn again. He played beats. He started messing with beats and Fruity Loops. He was one of the first guys who went a computer look shit, you know. So he had this Fruity Loops thing. And I started doing that poetry on top of those beats. And then as time went with also the love that Moses Tladi has put in me of rap music, then it sort of became rap. And it wouldn't be another four years until I went to um slicker and sugar smacks because i went there you know i mean these days you can you can you can upload stuff right you can just do it at the we didn't know well we couldn't you know and i don't want to say i was born in a time of less than now and use that as an excuse or anything or to take away credit from the guys now but um you know youtube wasn't a thing you know there, so there was nowhere else except to be there to play the music for guys you know so we cut up this nice demo i didn't even know what the demo maybe and and there's probably no rule but normally it was like two three joints just to get a feel of what type of artist that cd i had had 23 songs <laughs> you know yeah. had 23 songs yeah. and i went there uh, uh, it had a number legumo smacks and and slicker at para being entertainment ventilation i figure I think it's a feel up and take a little demo number for two quest. I mean, I'm going to cut long this, that, and the third. Uh, hey, before they even played, in fact, they didn't play it at all. But ish, no, we just got off of something with an artist, as Pegang Uspana, because I think they just let go of uh, their situation, no, my man. Oh, I remember my man. Shout out to my man. Yeah, shout out to my man. That's many yeah. years ago. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That's yeah. a long time ago. Uh, so they were like, you know, skeptical about working with artists. I think they were focusing on Isquara Camp as a group and 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 they own little solos, you know. Bebanga Pegang Utish, Asuspana, and artists. Because I guess, you know, now you have to understand a new person, Fulti Gantina Siazana already. So maybe let's keep it moving. So I, and which was a valid reason, but obviously, 
young Limaza, you know, because, you know, and, and there was a reason I went to um, Ipada Bing, because at this point, I'm in love with rap music. Now I want to rap. And when you looked up, you know, with Squatter Camp, Slicker, you know, it was, I just wanted to be amongst that. Um, and and this was also, oh yeah, before I skip, before I took rap as a a thing that I thought it was something I could do, because at some point being and long is whatever. I heard Pro Kid, right? Um the day I heard Pro Kid, I it was the day that I decided um that I wanted to do it as as a career, you know. Um I'd been writing very before I'd heard him and you know, um the dial was sort of there from the squatter camp days, H two on Jungle Bing Shield. But when I decided it would XA, as in I'm actually gonna give this a shot. You know, this was then, yeah, around 2005, 2006, you know. I think Heads and Tails came out 2005. So maybe this was, and I could only probably afford it in 2006. Because <laughs> 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 um, And by the time we told her, I decided that this is what I wanted to do with my life. And then I went to Parapinge. Um, and, and yeah, so by the time I changed, hey, son, I'm going to span it, I didn't have to span it. But, you know, um, cut it. Easy Pugile, you know, a boy, a charity. They said, Maral she had a city. And then I'm 23 songs. I'll she had a city with 23 songs. Um, and then by mistake, so it's like a big spanner, no, no, Che Che, Che Che is singing. Yeah. Um, yeah, Che Che, I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Shout out to you the know? contribution mm. on podcast and chill, bro. It'll be great to see you one day. I haven't seen you in a long time. JJ, could we go way back now? He's been in the game. <laughs> yeah, he's been. He's been. I mean, he was one of the people that welcomed me. Um, in fact, he's probably the reason this whole thing started. You know? So shout out to JJ for real. Because um, I think he took this CD and played it in Slick's car. You know, I think Slick had an A3 back then. Um, yeah, I remember make, that A3. A3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shanghai A3. And I think JJ played it. And then told Slick, no, man. No, this is different, right? And this and made Slick listen. And this is now probably two, three days after Seng Chigil. I mean, because I decided this is what I want to do. And the manager Seng Pampile Paraping. And then we get the call, yeah. And then from then he was like, you know, um, we heard it, we like it. I mean, we yes, we didn't want to work with anything, but you know, I guess they felt to good team. There's no way we can let this not get the shine that it's supposed to, or the shine that we feel it deserves, or at least see broadcast or whatever. This is. See Twali Senji, see sagas everywhere, and 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 really that's how then everything started. This was early 2007, you know, um, and I started going on sort of slick mega performer, Noctolanje five minutes nyana yam shine number one or shy vest or whatever. So I'd be the hype man. There were hype men back then. Yabona manja was sick. It's like the age of the hype man is dead, which is weird. So. Because back then, Bounga be one velo rap. There's always a guy there um, that you were, and I was that guy for slick. And every now and then, being no shy verse. You you were the memph bleak. Sure. I was the memph bleak. Yes, yeah. I was the bleak to the J. Mm. You know, um, and and that's really I guess because slick has all these bookings. So now I'm starting to go around. I was saying puma pumi le lokshin ang satle lang. I go to ang satle le lokshin, but manje seng nenteng yenza um sort of every week or every two weeks or whatever the situation. Nyaspana to a certain extent. Um, um, but the span guess at Kala there was a, a hip hop tour, Sprite hip hop tour that um, happened back in the day, um, which was a tour of just finding rappers yeah. that Slick was a part of or was powered by ventilation or just ventilation was doing that. And and that took me around the country very early on. Um, as I got on, uh, there was that fortunate part. Which, as I got on, this tour was happening. Um, and I met a lot of guys there from, you know, tear gas. Um, and, uh, no one went to Katlo Hong. None of these guys ever came to Katlo Hong. So man, you man, Klangan and the TKS was like, it's something else. And Klangan and the Murafi, you know, Klangan and Double H during this whole thing, you know, Squatter Camp song is all here. And and with that, then you start thinking, um, oh yeah, it's begun. 
I've arrived or or somewhat because of the maybe the little conversations you hear. Look, she knows like you know, and you're like, yeah, so I call you to tell you that you know, you know. Um, so to go to your to 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 really answer your question, look at how long does it take? It takes that whole story and and a whole lot longer, you know, especially if it happens in years. Um, if you look at it from that point um, of me beginning in 2007 um, until maybe. Because I was with Bada Bing for about six years. Um, and and that's how really how my name got out there was through that. And and through the dropping of a song called Sharp Fed. Mm. Right. Um, you mean which, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, mm. when I showed by us, you know. Um, and But from that to now um, is a very long sort of time for a lot of things to happen you know or a lot of things that you thought were happening to to no longer happen so it takes a lot of uh patience and because me and tema is immediately because i thought i'd arrived after the sprite hip hop tour at man um ever right um this is 2007 how Mm, I don't know if I should even. I should. So we went around the country, nan nan. So I'm just, I just have this little part in this show, just these five seconds, nan nan. So must uh, I think the the full paid was about fourteen thousand rand. Mm. You rich. Yeah, you rich. In my head, niti ang nandi. Life is made, and then the lama fourteen as ologe as aganje. Yo ngawar boys, we good. Um, so ngatatega ke mina lapo as nanda ngat mangsuga. Mbona leo nyogo. Shy pass. I'm going to pass in my Devin. Yeah. Uh, initially, it was just, it was actually a pretty good idea to go there. Because now, being Spana and OK Master, we're going there to make music. Klan and Abozagwe, you know, being Abozagwe, Danke and Abduz, and everyone. Shout out to the Durban scene of rapping. Um, so it was Abu Maraza, you know, it was really just us going out there to rap. So it was supposed to be a couple of days. I think I stayed there for about a month. Yo, at Deben. At Deben. Yeah. Mind you, I'm sure Nick's boss leak. As I'm over there. One hour to win. Yeah. You know? One hour to win. One hour to win. So I'm humble. I'm not Balegi. I'm not in the mall. I'm rich. I'm so poor. I'm so unchill. I'm so poor. I'm so span. I'm so poor. 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 In fact, the guy who sort of the, the guys had almost given up on the whole thing because long vile and tulile and na na ni shoni kisido so slicker. It's like ah, as in maybe let's let it go, you know. And Smack sort of probably agrees. Um, as is what DJ Naves. DJ Naves. Yeah. yeah. DJ Naves. Oh. Our kings of the weekend. <laughs> DJ Naves. All of our feet. Guys, come on. We need more content on that podcast. You guys are not serious on that podcast. <laughs> Every week, upload my feet. Spanancha. Spanan my feet for sure. No, yeah, shout out to DJ Naves, you know. Um I think we are about own time is a born and I feel as Tolly Sale of Ellen Jang out, you know, um on Jang and Twana Vele. Um and and then we carried on. But I'm saying it takes all those mistakes. Uh, well, um and even then with Shop Fede making all the buzzes, twenty ten I drop an album, um, special request, you know. Still more buzz. We get nominated for I think it was a channel O and probably a summer award, I'm not sure. Yeah, and also a summer award, you know, don't win. Uh but you know, that that's big, you know, for a guy who just came in three years prior. He was listening to himself for the first time on radio. Three years later, He's got a summer nominated album. This is this is clearly going well, you know. But now it's just all word and talk, right? It, it's not translating into um, shows of my own. It's not translating into money. So it's still, I don't want to say a burden, but I'm still sort of, you know, taken care of by the para being and ventilations. I'm, so I'm not generating money, right? Um, neither for myself or the company, you know, um, as far as I can see. And, you know, and it starts to frustrate one and you get frustrated because you're like, ah, oh, man, nothing's changing. My life's not changing because you want it quickly. Uh, my life's not changing. This is not happening. That's not happening. But now when I think about it, I'm like, it, it had only been three years. But, you know, but at that time, going through that three years, it's, it's a very long period, you know. Um, and then, so fast forward, uh, we dropped Take That in Vagaloko in 2011. Um, and then when things started now, looking up, I left then Parapinga in 20, 2012, I think. 
Um, yeah, 2012, I was in the grand. Um, I even remember 10 and 10 uh, by Lovo there, where funnily enough, Slicker on Life then had offices right after. You know, it was, so every time I go there, I think about this moment. Um, and, and that was kind of me sort of having the, the conversation with this chance. I think maybe um, I might want to just you know, see if I can do this, you know, just by myself and back to whatever it is that I maybe am not feeling is, is happening here, you know. Um, and and obviously, you know, they even said to me, no, Vanna, yeah, we did the same thing, you know, we were founded as Squatter Camp, we were founded by, or we were found, or at least, you know, exposed to the game by Uvus Leo, you know, and then at Grootman. some point, yeah, Grootman, Uvus Leo, and then at some point, Nati, we had to have this conversation with him. Thank so, you, So Grootman. fully understand. Yeah, yeah, shout out. So, you know, it was an understood thing with Jason. It's reached this point. It wasn't like a celebrated thing, obviously. So it's like, it's, I wish you didn't have to, but I get that you have to, you know, um, if, if you need be. And then um, I think that's when, uh, when the change then started happening was, by the time I linked up no Kid X, um, Smashes, um, Smashes who's Zinger now, um, shout out to the guys, um, Unota, and uh, a guy called Cash, all right? Um, and then we did this thing, the Hangover Tour, right? THT, where we were just going to go on an actual tour because we'd wanted to go and tour we just thought we'd also just you know spread the music you know just spread it as far so we just literally hired a bus and left for a whole month of december <laughs> right <laughs> for real self you know no funding no nothing look before okay as born with sense, you know. Yo. Um, Vida is doing the calls of at least I'm a promoter, was he or none with my sphere as Bambi show, not sphere last and then of a little bend the show, Nina E. Tina Mingen, you know, numbing the show that none is what I learned, you know. So we kind of so that it kind of all comes together, you know. And, and mind you, at that time, this is December, my uh, I just had a, a child two months bef before that. You know, um, and 2012 wasn't a very great year uh, when it started because I just left by bang and I don't know what to do. So I'm in the hood, just, you know, out of nowhere, just with no plans. You know? And then that must let that little tour, um, which at that point had the song in Boom Shakalak, right? Yeah. Uh, which is when was the song. wheel started turning. Yeah. Uh, because I'd never really been playing in the club. My songs weren't playing in the club and the clubs were very sort of, American music dri driven at that time, especially hip hop wise. You know, um, this is 2012, so it was, you know, you know, um, you were lucky if you got on, if you heard a couple of, we'd get like a good 30 minutes maybe, went to a local, what, what, DJ local, and that's about it. Um, so that started playing in the club and started getting me introduced to the Santin life or, or these club, you know, the North, I guess. Um, and then, Again, this is 2012. We go there, we come back, and when we're back, we're broke because we did this tour, but we came back with zero money, right? Completely zero money because we weren't. What we wanted to do was go out there and actually have a tour. Literally left in December, came back I think early Jan. You know, like an act. We didn't go do this whole. Um, you know, when people say they're on tour. They go for a week and then come back home. Or, I mean, go for the weekend, do two shows, come back home next week, two shows. And tour. we were on tour. We were gone from on the, road. the entire month. We were gone, you know. Spandinda Yoglala on the road. You know, Spandinda Yog performer on the road. Yonkinti Pandwa Konala. We even had the slogan here, Caution to the Wind, with the Sobona Corner I mean, Sesla, I mean, you know, we're halfway through. Um, and, and so when we came back, because I think Vele, there, there was no, you know, particular or specific plan or even our management. Right? We're not thinking money, uh, but we are at the back of our heads. But the how to, as now, you know, how to actually monetize a tour. You know, so it was Ambas, a tour in Sabuya Then 2013 was a big slump. Uh, 
for for all of us you know it was because this is the top of the year Agna Nyug, and there's also not a lot of prospect shows and things like that you know and still however I record um we decided to work on an album or well, open a guy of mine Leroy right to to come form part of this thing that I'm doing now with Nota you know um and then we drop an album the car right the first one um and also you know no but we won a metro award with that you know uh won a metro award so there's like real fame or popularity in 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 that regard you know and and we push that album we shoot um this boom shakalaka on that album there's uh you know uh tulu jive on that album there's there's um you know there's joints on that album uh keep walking which is you know one of my favorite songs is called Keep Walking because like it has Crash Carper and Maraza and myself, which was a clash of two worlds. Reminded me of Jay Z and um I forget the other guys, but it was called Anko. Oh you know, um, yeah, it was I think called it was Linkin something Park. Collision Linkin Park, right? <clears throat> yeah, collision yeah, course. Collision mm. course, yes. Um and yeah, so but anyway, so we have this album and we're dropping and the shows are starting to sort of pick up, but there's there's life, you know, but there's still we're still trying to figure ourselves out. Uti. What exactly is it that we're doing? What is this Dakar thing that you're talking about? What do you mean you're the king of African rap? All those things come with some backlash and some good things. So we're in the conversation, you know. Um and then twenty fourteen, I think twenty fourteen also goes by. Or maybe that's it. And then another after that a song comes out, Do Like I Do, right? I, I'm i not sure if it was 2014 or 2015. That then starts really changing stuff, you know. Um, this was uh, obviously Gusaifo. Shout out to Gusaifo, DJ Slick. Shout out. Um, and and really just, you know, handed me the beat and kind of did that. And when it got out, it was kind of a thing, you know, did a remix for it, um, you know, um, with a bunch of artists, you know, um, rest in peace to Ricky and Flabber, you know. Um, and then, yeah, we start this monumental work on Dakar 2, right, which is when everything changes, right. Um, not necessarily the recording process of it. It was that was still tough. That was still we were still going to Bori, you know, and squat there or the CSO needs your recorder and sleep there and wake up there. So we're not really in the we haven't blown up. We're players in the game somewhat, but you know, it's it's still under the radar somewhat, you know. Um and and also the other guys aren't playing, right? because uh, in twenty fourteen I think Karakara was that 2014 or 2015? Karakara, um, AK has got jealousy, I think. Cass got dog shaveleza, you know. So we're in the conversation, but you know, not as not like that, not in that in that conversation. Um, at least high up like that. Um, and then, however, when we did Dakar two, so, um, that's when then everything sort of flipped, you know, and. So that's pretty much, if you ask me how long it took, it took from maybe that high school kid, or maybe if we start from Abu Slik, it took from 2007. I really only blew up in 2015, 16. You know what I mean? So that's that's that eight years. Is it eight? Yeah. That eight years is is just constantly being at it, just constantly doing it, constantly getting up recording constantly getting up recording getting up recording oh there's a show there constantly doing that it took silly things that people would call dumb like the hangover tour you know tht we on tour with oh, you guys are so dumb right? but it takes all those things to get to um and good right which then drops in 2016 so um it takes a long time i don't know um a situation that it doesn't that doesn't have a backstory you know but a lot of people especially when you know when we won the metro in 20 in 2018 in 2013 not a lot of people knew me which was shocking to me because in whatever circles i was in everyone knew me but then i realized that the world's much bigger because this thing's on sbc one boom and you're there accepting an award and it's like okay shout out well done to you you know um so then in 2016 you get exposed to all of it like in its entirety it's almost at your mercy 
right um and and you started in 2007 so it it takes that long it takes a whole lot of of of, of things this the story could be longer there's there's obviously things that are not coming out because they're at the top of my head i'm just answering and i'm just talking but if i sit down and write and whatever it, you'd see it would be even lengthier it probably would take seven years to even tell the story you know wow so it takes, that it is takes so inspiring man and i love it i love it when you get, go in on it yeah. so that into honest to them as here yeah they mustn't give up quickly because sometimes don't ever do that i don't caught up in that in that trap of this microwaved success it's cutting mm. Samaj. You mm. know, it must happen the, now. The noodles. It must happen now. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. It's not gonna happen now. You have to keep it. Full stamp. Full of noodles. We are for that. Stamp start long along. We are for that. Um, and it's probably more <laughs> nourishment. But yeah, in Jalo, na khrut. Like um, this giving up thing has never been something that's in me. Also, because my love for this thing has just always been, it, it, it it's not something I chose. This thing, I just didn't want to do anything else but this thing you know regardless of how it was perceived publicly you know and 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 a lot of people would give me props like oh you're so relentless or you're so hard working like it's really what i want to do you know it's not necessarily because of because i have you know a software you resilient or in in it's just I'm stubborn with what I want to do and I really kept on doing what I love doing, you know, and I think I got better at it and in, in doing so, I then got to understand maybe some of the things you would see, oh, maybe this is what's missing in the game, you know, or maybe things like these are missing in the game and because I've always tried to look for that, I've always tried to look for what's missing instead of going, oh, that's what's happening, let's do that. You know, or oh, that's what's popping. Let's do that. You know, so um, I think my love for, for, for this thing carried me outside of my myself giving myself props for yeah we didn't give up yes i didn't give up but i was doing what i i was stubborn with what i wanted to do you know what i mean so um i've never had the thought of giving up so whoever has a thought of giving up um right now don't you know but the big thing is to love it you know the big thing is to to and loving it is one thing to love it and do it every day so that you get good at it because you have to get good no matter how much you love something you still have to get good at it you you have to be dope i i had to from you see i skipped the battle rap days and it's still, you had to be better than you battled as well yeah i used to do You're that you kidding a lot. me yeah, bro yeah battled a lot yeah battled a lot even before like i think one of the 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 people who know that i battled that are not from my hood um because i battled in the hood a lot you know and and the scene was pretty small but um even on yfm you know uh, from even before full clip like uh, i think it was rap activity jam with um root boy paul and, uh, and oskido yes yes um you were there was it no i think i don't i think it was the the sessions after that because okay. it had lee kasumba oh and, harambe yes Har yes Le yes bad boy t lee and yeah that's oh, yeah. where i'm going and and that's where i'd come in and we'd kind of do all these battles and stuff like that and i got in there i, I won um and then you had to take some time off because oh, you had won. and then i got back again and i won you know so i i had to go through all of that you know and the unfortunate part is that that doesn't make me any better than anyone out now because maybe they don't have to go through the same things. Maybe mm -hmm. they don't have to battle. But as far as re resilience go and, and longevity and what, what, and doing everything that it takes, you know, I literally did everything it took, you know, and, and, and doing everything it takes, takes time. You know, you can't do everything in two years. So it will take you a long time to blow up, you know, maybe, well, at the time, that's in my understanding, that's why I was like, when I, as soon as I understood that it would take me time to blow up. And social media wasn't stopped. as this, this not, big. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't this. It wasn't as instant. Even, yeah. Nothing was as instant as, as, as it is now, you know. So it took me from 2007 till 2016 to blow up, you know. True. But that was, that was the, that was the, you know, that was the path. That was the way, you know. I'm sure um, there's many years that it took. Pro Kid dropped in 2000, May so rest in peace, dropped in 2005. I'm sure there's a lot of years prior to that that he can tell you about that it took before that 2005 you know what i mean so i've i kind of worked on it like that in my head that's how it worked out that's why i never got too disgruntled you know there were moments maybe would see hey maybe this thing is not working ganjan, ganjan, ganjan. but then you know oh yeah how long what did you want it to happen overnight oh yeah in the beginning but as soon as i got back from that durban trip that i'd taken my whole i i I, my understanding of everything kind of was different. You know, I had a lot more patience than 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 I did at Kalin, you know. So you and I still... Because I almost the, messed it all up. You, oh, yeah, you almost messed yeah. it all up. And shout-out to the guys who believed in you. Yeah, yo, man, shout-out to Slick for... Shout-out to... Um, 
Mm. Sugar Smacks. Shout out to Naves for talking to them. You know, because that's how it got back. Naves of Ashashai. You know, because I big no quatel. You know, um I'll feel good names at time and ganja na ganja na ganja na ganja na ganja. So that's the reason why I'm saying we're still gonna be around you for some time, yeah. I'm I'm doing a lot of podcasts with Nota lately. If there's yeah. anybody who loves you, it's Nota. <laughs> Not There's anybody who loves him. Oh, let's yeah. speak about you. Like he does not care what people say. It's like and even what anyway. He said yeah. you can't interview Quest. I know you've got questions, but whoa, I'm gonna send you to my <laughs> tw- my twenty one <laughs> questions <laughs> for Senzo. Right, so I know if I, if I don't ask them, he's gonna be mad at me. He's in the US currently. Yeah, yeah. So maybe let's get into them so All that right. he's happy wherever he is. I know he's gonna be very happy to watch this episode. No, <laughs> yeah. his twenty one questions were covered. First question: You brought the Rick Ross to your grandmother house for her birthday how did you make that happen <laughs> is that from nota yeah. he was there <laughs> was wrong with no, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna ask the question yeah yeah, yeah. Um, that's number one i mean we had a relationship with a with a guy called lou right lou oh shout out to lou yeah, 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 to Lumke, Lumke, yeah. and um it's always been the u.s plug ne? yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. shout out know? to i think he's one of the guys who's underappreciated in the game man. yeah let's give yeah. him his props shout out to lou yeah. um and and i think really what it was it was we either go shoot the video in america which probably would have worked out easier logistically i mean you just go there and find a guy with a camera and you shoot and would look better or whatever but i think obviously the idea was more than that you know it was it was to what it, it so that we could describe or at least you know capture this moment and embrace it as a big moment you know it was the idea was to bring him this side you know um and and i mean a lot of i was working with leroy and i know so a lot of things happened in terms of the conversations with um maybe ross's camp and 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 us that was Lou Nabo No Tanabo Leroy, you know. Me, I'm more the music. I'm like, okay, which song are we doing, and which what verse are we getting, you know? Uh, but really, it was in garden just to say, maybe not Santin. Let's go to the hood. You that know? was big, bro. As far as who spoke big up to for who. doing that, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That was nice. Um, and my whole thing was. You I know, remember I've, the picture outside. I've always imagined. Like, you understand? I remember posting it. <laughs> you know, I remember, yeah, and you even as is there's a thing you did in 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 one of the comments um, when that picture came up, um, where you were urging. You're like at the cross, and you urged him post this thing. Oh, yeah, I remember, I remember, I remember. Why are you not pushing why are you this not thing? Posting this thing? <laughs> that was insane. I, I was like, hey, shut up, group, man. <laughs> you know, yeah, that was I dope. Was you, know? you know, I'm crazy about the hood. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yo. Yeah. I mean, I think it's it's, it's, gas, it's also from that. It's it's just having you know inherited this craziness for the hood. You know, um, that we had to make that happen. You know, and I think it would have would sort of you know, complement this whole Questa thing um, and his love for the hood would then be cemented, you know, cemented. Um, and I could have gone to the States and shot three videos because mm. there's uh, Rick Ross, there's Rich Homie Kwan, there's Wale. But in honor, they said, no, we're going to try to bring all of them here, you know, and, and, and couple that with a show. And, you know, and well, the guys are pulling the strings to get the show together. Heineken is supporting the show and this, that, and the third, you know, we could make this happen, you know. Also, uh, at that time, I'm surrounded by like smart people, you know, that, that, that kind of see visions, you know. And me, I, I hear songs, they see visions, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, and the partnership is, is, is incredible. So I think that was just a collaboration of a lot of that, you know, um, with teamwork. Teamwork. Tina Gzomeles born good to see Letella and Nabantumaba, Itandi Logish, Abazo Boni Logish, Ulu, we plug, you know, uh, when a humble ring and a boban, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was all of that that did that, you know. But um, I mean, shout out to also Ross, you know, just the type of person he is was was pretty shocking you know that was because, beautiful man yeah. allowing like agreeing to come to the hood we were very happy to see him in the hood yeah. that's question number one cheese we've got a long way to go <laughs> no just said please <laughs> not even please he tells me ask all 21 as good as all of you question two how did it feel to have black coffee and wale open for you at the station in Bramfontein? what the <laughs> hell bro <laughs> I know <it's> like <laughs> <laughs> no man um <laughs> like i said hannigan was supporting the, the 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 entire thing you know so so I must figure out we're launching um, the song Spirit, you know, and I think as Bramfontein in Zone Six, 
um, I think some of it is also part of the video. So there was a concert that we held in Pram um, and Zone 6, you know, to do, I think at the time it was Spirit, yes. Um, and I don't think it, it was just because the show was about Spirit. It was not necessarily open for you. I, I must know Tunja. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It was, it, was, it was that. So it was just a launch for that thing. And so you save that baby for, you know, the big moment or whatever, peak hour or whatever the situation yeah. is. Yeah. Number three, how was it losing <coughs> Flab? How was it losing Flab at the morning of the Do Like I Do remix music video? It was terrible, you know. Um, I don't. It was the morning of the shoot, I think, not mm. necessarily the drop. Oh, it was the shoot, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it says the shoot, the video shoot. Oh sorry. yeah, yeah. Um, and then they had to come up with 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 like um, and a post edit, you know, with. I'm sure. No it man, it was before the, that because. Squatter Camp made cameos in the video um, on, on Flabber's verse. So I think it wasn't necessarily the morning of that. But I know before that, we had just come from um, a trip with Slick and DJ Slick, um, myself and Flabber um, in Durban uh, to obviously work the, you know, to promote the song and things like that. We just come from something like that. And I think that, that was like the second last time I'd seen him or spent a long time with him. But it's fine, you know, um, which was, Flava is a good man. I, I, I've always respected um, just as a good man, you know, outside, forget the raps, right? I've always thought he was an amazing rapper, you know. Um, out of Squatter Camp, it, my favorites were him and Pause, right? And then in time, you got to understand that there's different facets and things and blah, blah. But um, So I respected him. I respected how he loved the hood. I respected how he loved beer because I was crazy about beer at the time also, <laughs> you know. Um, so I just we just got along so well and we spent that time going to Durban and back, you know. Um, and I think the last time I saw him was at a back to the city on the, on the steps. I think I was getting off and he was getting on. Um, and we were doing do like I do. Uh, yeah, we're on the steps. Uh, no, we're both about to get on, just waiting on our parts. So I was getting on and then he was to follow. And I, and that was the last time I saw him. And a couple of days later, we're shooting the video to the remix. So that, that that was terrible. That was It didn't feel good. Yeah, man, rest in peace, Flabber. So rest in peace. Yeah, man, so rest in peace, man. Um, I've got my own memories and stories to tell about Flabber. We, so we, interview we, all, we all came up together. He, he said I mustn't... He said even if I've got questions, if it means this entire interview is about these 21 questions, I must ask them. <laughs> The next question is, how was it meeting Senzo Meiwa for the first time hours before he was killed in your neighborhood? I had met him before, uh, Senzo Meiwa. Uh, but I did meet him. I don't know if it was the morning he was killed. Uh, my memory is not the same as, as La Vida's, uh, clearly. Uh, but, but I mean, you never know. It was all in good spirit. So, it, you know, to ask how it was is, is kind of a difficult question to answer because generally it, it was like, you know, hola, 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 I know he's or he's or he's or no, good to see you, sharp, sharp, you know. It was, so it was all in good spirits and things like that, you know. Um, only to hear, Pazna I don't think I heard in the morning. I probably heard a couple of days later um, because Labis is Panacona is like, couple turns and boom, 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 boom. well it's spread view right uh, it's not necessarily up the street um, and and it was close so must mark punya kuna so born cuz njalo ngilai spread view njalo ngiyaphuma ngilai spread view ngiyaphuma so kuna ubona u time man ngathi kunento ehamba la and then that's when we learned to go to um sega shonile you know you know um so it feels terrible that it happened you know, around in our La Onga to corner. Uh, yeah, in, and, and right in. after maybe in Kutu Klanga and 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 it's almost like you should have said, Yes, in us plum, you mm. know, or, or something, you know. Uh, but it's 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 you know, some things are God's will and 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 and, and that's just what it was, you know. I guess maybe we're destined to meet you know, for for, for whatever reason we take Nina Kmele Nazan, you know, so we met and um I'd met him before, like I said, but it was a quick thing at a at one of the performances of in a stadium. I think it was a derby or something. But yeah, um so I mean that never feels good just generally because it results in, in the loss of life. Yeah. You know. So yeah. yeah, that's just you know yeah. This one's gonna make a lot of people speak the whole country. Better think about it, including you. Which SA rappers make your top five GOAT list? Yo. Alive. Yo. Yeah. 
I don't like Vanilla Vida. I don't like. <laughs> I don't <laughs> no, come on. Let's talk. Let's talk. It's cool. It's, it's cool. cool. I know. It's like top it's, five. It doesn't mean you're playing down anybody. Just who's your top five? I get five? that, right? I get that's you. how I've always taken it. So I, that's why I've never minded if I'm if I'm not in anyone's top five. It's like it's okay. It's the people you liked. You know, that's what a top five is. You say who you liked. Um, sheesh, alive. He says he alive. Said alive. Yeah. Yo. Ko, number one. Uh, does it have to be in order? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So if you're saying Ko first, are you saying Ko is better than you? No, but I'm, I'm just mentioning names. I wasn't doing an order. It's oh, now okay. that it has to be in order, it's tougher. Started from and, number and five. And it's not things I think about. But I I'm know. The you know how notes are thing. You know how notes hey. is, bro. <laughs> Yeah. And I, maybe that's what he wants. He wants conversation. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. This is of course, change. he wants conversation. He this is that's change. why he's taking over this interview. I know we like that. Yo. At number five. Um, you know what my problem is? I can't think of. You have to give me like a a time period. Right, because excuse me, if I think I want to make this example, right? Um, there's there's guys who probably have three projects out or have been around for about five years, you know, who I think are the best right now, right? yeah, doing it. I don't know if they make the goat list or they still have things to do and overcome to for for. Or are we just basing it on just the skill of rapping? Right. So I'd need a little bit more context on that, but because here's an example. Touchline's my favorite rapper right now. Right? I don't know if if I can put him in this top five and where I'd put him. But if I were to, I'd probably put Touchline at number five. But just based on being my favorite. If that's what we're basing it off of. But if we're basing it on the history of hip hop and this, that and where everything started and what to impact GOAT. GOAT right? for me, my understanding of GOAT is greatest of all time, alive in South Africa. Okay. So with I can't you, put it says touch, with you right? included. No, I'll definitely put, it's just the order that's killing me. Can I can I do it without doing okay, it? Okay, don't don't do it in order, yeah, yeah it's fine. So I, I'll, I'll let I'll cut you I'll, I'll let you off the loose there. Yeah, sharp. Sure. <laughs> 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 There's Questa, there's um, Ko, there's a um, Stogie, um, there's a um, Kuli Chana, um, and there's Cass. Nasty and Aries. You see what I'm saying? Ish. When do we start? When because these people I'm mentioning were people I, like, you know, when I'm talking like 2007 that were already doing music, you know, or maybe Cass was, you know, the the guy who started later. Um, so Questa, Ko, probably go with Reese. This is not an order, right? Reese. So for me, it sounds like it's an order. Questa, KO. No, if it's an order, then it's Questa, KO, Cooley. Um, uh, nah, I was right the first time. Yeah, I was right the first time. Questa, KO, Cooley. Um, Cass and Stogie. Why are you having second thoughts about Riz? It's just, I, I just think time, you know, I think he's in, incredibly talented. I just can't take it away from anybody else because seemingly everyone has done more, you know, um, just f to impact sort of things. I don't know, just time. I think I it's just basing it on time. Okay. You know, just Let's having those done five. it for longer, maybe not done more. No, yeah. no, no. That makes sense because we yeah. we're talking about the goat list. Yes. Remove that five now. Let's t let's talk about Reese generation. About Reese. Reese, nasty C touchline. Um, Reese, nasty C touchline. Hmm. Jeez, I didn't put Zago in my other list. I need to put Zago in that list. Um, this nice to see touchline. 
Now here's another sort of spanner in the works, right? Mm. There's there's um there's a big zool, right? Who I've known for many years, but got in fully a couple years ago. I don't know which generation I should place him in. Right? That 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 one's tricky for me. Mm. But I don't think you were mentioning, you were thinking of him when you were saying, mention Abu Rishnan. I'm not thinking of anyone. I'm asking you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rish, Nasty, Touch, Big Zulu. Mm. I can't find a fourth one, a fifth one. I think then I'd probably put um I'd probably put in Blackie there. I think. I think I'd put in Blackie. Blackie. Yeah. And and there's also just yeah, I think that's it. Reese, nasty, touchline, big Zulu, Blackie. No Zagwe, no Duncan. That's what Uzagwe belongs in the other list. My, and then who gets my, out who gets first out one. Who gets out on that other list? Ish, I may have to omit Cass. You gotta be kidding me, oh, bro. Or Either, you know, just... And this is to be fair in language. I'm basing this off of language, right? Yeah. They may have two representatives of the Mutsuako guys. Uh, one of them. One of them would have to make space for Zaiba. Okay, dead or alive? To be fair. Sheesh. In no order? Pro. I, I didn't have proverb in my list you see yeah that's why i'm like ah uh, this is tough man that's why this fine. Be, make the proverb bed. belongs on my list you'll sleep, also you'll sleep in this it on the comment tough, section guys, these guys don't call me this is off the top right you're gonna be trending Please. with this one you know <laughs> i hope not <laughs> pro ko pro AKA And a lot of this is based on like lyrics, right? It's gold, bro. It's greatest of all time. It's everything. It's unfair. It's There's unfair. not fair or unfair, bro. It's hip hop. It's unfair to have these lists as as, as a thing to have. But you must still have yours. Right? What is yours? Dead or alive? You said pro K O A K A. Pro K O A K A. Um Pro K O A K A Pro Verb Pro Verb, okay. Yeah. You I don't know if I'd make the dead or alive. Dead or alive is greatest of all time, bro. And Questa. If that's... Double HP? You see what I'm saying? Ah, bro. Ah, dog. Ah, this is a trap. This whole thing is a... We're back from load shedding. I would say go to Usizwe Irreverie and Pempe. We're still on that top five. Ah, uh, Pelili came. Ah, uh, uh, we can pass. Okay, let's just summarize it and keep it moving. Yeah. It's three top fives, and it's according to you. I'm I'm trying to think of people who influenced me and people who are doing great now, and it's hard to differentiate the two, right? Without feeling like, you know, this. So me, people who influenced me, right? Who I feel, mm -mm, regardless of they say top five. I can't be subjective about list. the game that I play in. It's goat right? list, bro. You don't have to explain it. Everybody knows what a goat <laughs> list is. Don't explain it. Yeah, so I stick to that goat list of mine. Okay, um, what is it? The dead or alive. Uh, just J in SA hip hop pro kid um K O A K A I had said proverb but it is something that influenced me, right? And proverb question. There is no double HP, there's no Casper. 
I was I said people that No, I said the top five goat list broke dead or alive. So I'd move proverb and put in double HP. In fact. Pro, pro kid, um KO, aka double HP Questa. And these are just people literally who shape me. So that list, I don't care what anyone thinks about. Actually, okay. that's 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 me. I let you off the hook right. because of time. <laughs> let's keep it moving. Sure. <laughs> 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 is it difficult? Ever since I saw phone, man, I'm as your dog. How was the rivalry with? The late great aka and why did it end up as a beef i didn't know you guys had beef after you called out to a rap battle you guys had a rap battle i don't know aka yeah no there wasn't there wasn't a beef there was oh, a okay. misunderstanding in the club long ago oh, okay um long ago and and the rival the word rivalry is you know hyped up it's not rivalry yeah. very sensationalized you know very in but character. there was love yeah they're very in character no man there was always there was nothing ever yo man let me tell you, out of everyone that I'd been, like, you see when we're mentioning the top five list, everyone else that I'd mentioned, I never really, you know, saw come up or was with, you know, or kind of went toe-to-toe -to -toe with or, you know, except AK, right? It's either Amakrut Mane or Toleyi that influenced me. That's why I said, uh, regardless of what people think, that's my list, right? Um, AK is the one who's kind of, who I've seen, you know, almost had the walk with. Um, and... And, you know, he was, as much as I knew that our styles were different, um, completely, he was always like the guy to beat, you know, because he was, a lot of people don't want to say this, right? <laughs> he was better, right? Um, he, he was broader musically. I mean, he studied it. Not only did he have the pen, the skill, he studied the thing. He could produce, he could, so he could, he literally had the power to take the idea from his head and put it into song alone right he can do that sitting by himself i can't do that right sitting by myself i'd need a, a marker i'd need a, a producer i'd need you know I'd, I'd, need, I'd need a producer in the studio to make the beat and I'd, i can't go maybe but i can't fully and you could tell in the music right it showed it it was there all the time from when we started from when you dropped the victory lap even before that there was um 266 i think um 266.8 or whatever a play on 24 7 right um which is the first time actually i heard Cesar Lomo rap because he raps on that thing his name his rap name was scatterbrain but um from then i knew he had he had, he had this drone called mistakes on that tape and i knew then that geez okay this boy's gonna problem. be a problem yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a it's 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 a problem because he makes songs like like the guys i idolize make songs you know he has that that sort of ability and and that thing never left him one bit you know mm. um all, all, the, the, way way his, passing, all yeah. the way throughout his career that's why um i was reading some tweets just the other day when it was one of those days when i do um and and i ran into just the catalog conversations and i actually tried playing the catalog it's insane it's insane bro. it's it's, it's the insane. best there is it's insane it's, it's insane bro. it's almost it's the best it's it's the greatest catalog yeah you know um in terms of just the impact some of these songs had and and so not in comparison to one song and then say yo he's never had a song that big or what just all the songs and the impact that all the songs had and put that together uh, no one's ever done that you know um so i mean as far as rivalry, there was no rivalry, man. There was a misunderstanding in the club and this, that, and the third. And and I think, you know, as AK is like, um, you know, he's always been mega, mega, yeah. I might, you know. <laughs> yeah. And I think I tweeted that um, Ikarakara and 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 Doc Chevelez, I mean, and what's the... Um, yes, it was Doc Chevelez, are currently the biggest hip-hop songs in SA. You know, and he was like, nah, but I got, you know, and, and that was <laughs> yeah. that. And really in the club, there wasn't a, a situation. It was just a matter of seat, seat, seating. which is So there was never any sort of anything out, outside of that, you know. And we spoke often, um, even now in our 
you know, later years, you know, as dads and things, you know, um, Bunsan and I put, hey, manji, 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 manji. I remember the one time I was having a conversation with him and he was just calling me about just, you know, how to navigate this, how to navigate. I'm like, I don't know, I'm, I'm navigating this, I'm, all right, anyway, what are you doing? And I said, I'm on my way to a club. And he said, forget everything you told me, I don't care. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you about family stuff, you're going to a club. I'm like, well, I'm booked, I got to work, you know. But we'd have those sort of type things. So, I mean... I think the question was, how was the rivalry? There was none. Okay. Yeah, there was none. How was it topping Sway's list of top five freestyles and being the first rapper to rap in Isizulu on Sway in the morning? Uh, le 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 let me take this one. <laughs> I'm the first DJ to play at my piano on Sway in the morning. <laughs> How's it? What rap on Isizulu, boy? Yeah, I think, I think, I think, it, it was dope. I mean, that platform is for rappers and for being the dopest, you know, or at least at least getting the hyena tag is the least you can do at that show. Anything, you know, it's like that's what you aim for, you know, and, and to get that was dope. It was like, geez, you call me a hyena for real. And they screamed it out a bunch of times. That's insane, right? Because you've watched these things online. Yeah. Your favorites coming in, killing it. Yo, I'm a hyena, I'm a hyena. No man, I 70,000 that have been there before. hyena was dope, you know. And then in logo to have it be one of the dopest ones in 2017, top five. I was like, jeez. You guys know Sway personally? You know, because it's like so unbelievable. You'd think it was my uncle or whatever, you know. And, and it wasn't anything like that because it's just so... When I saw it, I didn't believe it. I thought it was just some made-up internet shit, you know. I was like, I know what I did up top five. No, no way. You know? And then they put it up on, 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 on the page. I was so weird. And I said, geez, that's, that's real? That's crazy. So it was, it was dope, man, to know that the pen game was still strong even after all those years, you know, that I've been here, you know, because that's also part of the core of everything. It's just making sure that the pen game's straight, you know. Um, and at Sway, that's what it's all about. Nobody cares how many hits you have. Nobody, well, they care. I guess that's why you're on the show. You can talk about that in the interview, but when it's time to rap, all the hits are gone and you just have to show the skill. So that was pretty dope, man. And Nuka Rapanga Suzulu is just a natural thing. Like, <laughs> it's like, I like, I, I almost have to cause on myself sometimes with not really I'll force the line with the bass so I that's a luxury of South African rappers right yeah you, you, you have the multiple options. languages yeah, that you, you have can play with what if I said this in suit wouldn't it sound dope you know yeah. so so it was just using that and I think also the task has always been the same you know um, is, is, is just let them know what we do you know, instead of, you know, trying to fix whatever we're doing to fit whatever they're doing, you know. So we go there, let Sway know, come back as a top five of 2017. It was dope. And I, I really appreciated that. That was that was insane. He didn't have to. I don't know why he did. I was meeting him for the first time. I guess whatever voting system they had just thought genuinely that that's one of the best ones. And I was like, well, I'll take that. And I think let me take this opportunity to shout all of you guys out because when I was there with him, he spoke very highly of you guys. Yeah. And he said, I must um, let you guys know that you guys, it, it, you must never sleep on yourselves because he feels even compared to US rappers, yeah. you guys have got it. And he mm. said, I must pass his regards. And sadly, Mega is not around to hear this message, but mm. you, cares, you know, AK, all the guys yeah. that have been up there. Uh, shout out, man. Shout out. And, and I think more guys should maybe... and and should maybe go make the effort to go on there, you know? Um, yeah. Because as much as it's not really about fitting into their systems, it's just we're getting into those channels to show them who we are. I mean, that's why you are on Sway. It's not, it's not because of who figured out our IPN. It's not because you're trying to fit into whatever format they have going on. You brought what you were about there because it's a, it's a global platform. It's a big platform, you know? So I think the more the guys go, then the more that message is probably towards them um, instead of necessarily us you know uh, yeah, you know yeah. so um Unasti has been on the thing you know which is dope i need to see reese there you yeah. know i need to see touch there i need to see i need I, I need the guys to just you know just go there and show them whatever way possible whatever way they feel comfortable in doing but just go there and and, and break these things and what would you like to say to say we'll, we'll clip this up i'll send this one to Yo. you on whatsapp I, I already reached out to him about reese um because when i did an interview with reese i just come from Sway oh, about yeah. a, a month before Dope. and you know I've, I've um, <coughs> well yeah 
but behind the scenes in my own way man i would really love to see reese up there yeah. and the other guys about touch it so yeah i mean i'd like to say to sway i'd really like to say thank you to sway you know yo sh shout out uncle sway um want to say thank you man just for holding it down you know uh for 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 african rap you know um and i know when we were there it wasn't really just about the interview and just being the hyena you were there with us you came to the show you were hanging out together you were telling us about what the scene is like and we were sharing knowledge and we really appreciate that you've also been sharing this knowledge that we were sharing with you with everybody else you know and spreading the word so really appreciate it. i see you in the comments too you know you're out there so you really literally checking stuff out you know you're liking you dropping knowledge every now and then so really appreciate the platform um oh yeah please uh, there's a lot there's a lot like um cast there's a lot like um questa that are um, that are that are in this country give them a shot too man come on what a on dope show, brother yeah. what a dope brother man he's such cool unbelievable peoples. guy unbelievable cool peoples guy. bro like even to hang out with like the so most calm harmless brother you, know. you can swear he's yes, from here yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's really is he's, he's, he's insane and my man he shows us love all of us you know he doesn't choose there's no picking and choosing with him it's it's all real and you feel it in the room you know? mm. there's no malice about anything it's just all you know very calm kid x signed with rep life and was he your partner was he my partner yeah i don't know what nota means here he says kid x signed with rep life was he your business partner maybe i'm i'm including business but he says partner um that was the outlook nota knows all this i guess you know what nota is doing yeah i, I know what nota is doing yeah he's, he's He's, he's telling everybody, <laughs> you know. Oh, them. things they, people they don't know through. Yeah, okay. I guess, yeah. you know, which is cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was initially supposed to be like that. Um, I don't think we ever got around, which is what actually was the biggest problem. We ever got, got around to paperwork, you know. Our biggest overlook was that, was just that nobody ever signed anything, mm. you know. Even when he said, stop. even when he says Kid X signed to Rap Life, where there wasn't any actual signing, you know. It was like, yo, I spanne, so spanne ganje, or so zam you know what I'm saying? Uh, but as far as at least um, how the, the man or the how, how do you act tenacently or whatever, but uh, as far as just the things were going, I was, I treat, I, I, yes. You know, I I took him as one. Um, I spoke to him as one. I you know, I think he I gave him the energy of that he's one, or at least as much as I was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so so yeah, uh, it's just like I said. There's no paper that you'll find that says that though. I get you. Yeah. How was it sleeping on Maria Ramos's couch at the APSA headquarters when she was CEO? <laughs> Do you know what she was once? I think even still today, top ten <coughs> richest woman in the country, mm -hmm. Maria Ramos. Yeah. You see some of these things. So you slept on the couch at the headquarters at Absa. It was a couch to me. I didn't care whose couch it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was a couch in Kajeling of Yengalala. You know, so it was it was very you know Yengapumula. Yengapumben Kajeling of Yengalala, Yengapumula, Ashaisho, Ngaham. Oh, it's not like the whole night. No, no, no. It was it was it was a during the day thing. Um, at I think I don't know if it's the at the Absa building in town. Okay. Right. Um, and and they were doing some sort of campaignish type thing, and I was also part of the TV campaign, the voiceover of 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 what are they TV campaigns? Um, and then yeah, we were there to launch that sort of campaign, okay. um, and we we're performing. And before that, I think I either had a long night or whatever. I figured uh, you know, totally couch. We had some time in the green room. Uh, where they placed us with type son biza masses and thing and i and i rested there so uh, i mean i appreciate and respect them i then knew who she was and logo, you know but when i slept on the couch it was because it was a couch and it looked comfortable <laughs> yeah. and then Gadel, Gadel, you know, Gadel. how did sony convince you to sign a joint venture deal and do you believe they did a better job of promoting your music than urbantainment no i mean there's no better or not and i wasn't convinced you know it was just there's 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 works I don't want to do. There's things that I don't personally want to get involved in in terms of um, how to promote or whatever or whatever. You know, uh, my 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 whole there's things that I've made conscious decisions about in my life that I will involve myself in this and I won't in this. So if I want to give the weight of something to someone, I'll give that weight to that person. You know, it has nothing to do with um, how I think they are better than what or they're, it's just, I don't want to do that. They're, I'm very specific now, at least now about 
some of my, I've been very vague in my life, which is what I've realized. And like, Kostana, right? yeah, Kostana, you know, time, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. as in, and then over time, you're born, as in, be deliberate, be a little bit more deliberate. So I'm very deliberate in the things I decide to put energy or time or or effort in. And 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 as far as promoting, pushing this, that, I'd rather give that to somebody else. And whether that somebody is 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 better off or not or whatever the situation i i cannot then we could you know we could do another one with that person when i realize that oh maybe i should have done that but you know me i just really 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 just want to make and drop congratulations with the collaboration with kabza he says how did you feel about the reception of the joint album with kabza i mean it was cool. <laughs> I liked it, you know. Yeah. Um, we we shout literally out to Kabza. yo shout out to Kabza the small. That man literally oh, damn Is it saved what my life guy? also. Yeah, when Is he av- it? yeah like when he availed himself to work on just music, you know, I was in the house just working on my depressing raps, you know, uh, because this is like during 2020, you know. It's oh, a, during COVID. Yeah, so I was just working on my depressing raps and this, that, and the third, and, you know, and he took me up on an offer I'd made for, well, not an offer, I suggested I'd made with your assistant. And I was like, yo, man, and, you know, and since then, then, you know, my, I started being alive again, you know, in terms of just even, me as a moon right not even musically or what what or or being hot or whatever in the scene just j in in functionality you know uh, so shout out to Kabza. he doesn't even know that i'm sure my guy is what but um i mean it's cool you know i also just learned it just went platinum so congratulations guess, yeah, guys thank yeah, you thank up, you bro. thank you shout out um so it's all right it's it's i like it you know but that's not how i'd measure it you know, because the intent of it was we literally just said, that's quite you sure. know, because that's what we both like. We didn't have it wasn't it wasn't as strategic as people made it out to be. And I say this in every interview. We didn't think strategy, yo, if I do this and we just two guys having fun having in the studio, fun, yeah. you know. And there's a whole lot more songs we recorded. We just chose ten. You know, we could literally drop another ten in a week or tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and other joints that are piano that I had jumped on and this, that and so it was just us having fun and we decided to package it and put it out. It had nothing to do with, yo, here's what we want as a result from this thing. I think others you've already answered in, in, in some of your talks, your biggest regrets and what, what, what about your past do you what that you wish you could have changed? Mm. Um how what is this? Where did you learn your to speak English so eloquently and oh. how has it affected <laughs> your brand positively or negatively? Which Kwaito artist is your role model and why? I think you've touched on these. You spoke about Abu Boga, yeah. you spoke about uh, Makesh, yeah. so rest in peace, spoke about TKZ. And you spoke about this also, how has being a girl dad affected the way you portray oh yeah affected mm. the way you portray women in your lyrics yeah it, it, it completely does like it 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 completely shakes it because especially i think i'm more aware of it or more afraid of maybe not afraid more you know aware of how i use the language because of the internet also you know um it's like you can't anymore like you used to back in the day you know we, we could keep keep abazali could keep kids from ukmama U- 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 writings he bold and beautiful you know yeah, just yeah. Go, hey I'm a gov-, you know then they <laughs> never get to see it or the generations or he's or he's right but and 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 you never get to see what what happened but now since the internet everything lives on there right and and music is like that also now because it's so instant and so um, the other day my 10 year old was singing to me he looking at him he saw blood yeah wow. <laughs> Shout out to twenty five K. Man, uh, shout out twenty five K Low Tinova. Sure. Um you know, and in my head it's shocking because I know her for at least some of the TikTok dancing stuff or what what but it brought her closer to my hip hop world and I'm like, hey, I got a little scared, right? Um so I mean my whole thing is is it's like there's the dad that wants to tell the girl or teach the girl how to be treated. Uh, by either men or women or, or, or damn it <laughs> glom <laughs> by men or by anybody right um uh by anybody and that i need her to know what value she is and i can't even tell her that but i need her to sort of identify that and find it in herself because she will come across music that will tell her she's nothing or will look down on her she will come across tv shows that portray that she will come across people that will say that to her in her face you know and then there's the rapper right that that 
that wants so badly to to not be silenced in terms of um expression right in terms of freedom of expression to, yo i want to be able to say this i want to be able to say that or maybe open a discussion if i say this can we discuss it or whatever the situation right there's there's this guy on a phone to lisa or on a phone controller in a sense of what so these guys have to be one person in my case, right? Um, I have to tell her the realities of the world and I have to tell her that daddy might say the B word here and there, um, <laughs> you know, or might have said, the, but as far as writing in, in, in for or about women, um, I've never really kind of went left with that you know I, it, it was always been in appreciation of women sometimes loosely so or or in a vulgar manner you know, i can take your girl whatever and then that's kind of almost making the girl seem like a token of whatever you know i have done those type of things but i'm very much aware now about how i write and how i position uh, the girl characters in my songs or or the girl part of whatever story i'm writing you know um but i also can't just paint it as just some angelic stuff because there's some real things that are going on there are some just women who are who i wouldn't want her to take as role models there are some men who i wouldn't want her to take as role models you know uh probably more men but um yeah so that as a time so i'm aware of that and it's changed me in that sort of sense where i'm trying to mix um the rapper who who loves his freedom of expression, Beseno Netaima, you know, who has to protect um, his child's image of me and um, of herself as a woman, you know. So then my language has to be different, but maybe the thing I'm talking about, because it's a real thing, ha can't change being real. You know, if if there is um, a problem with um, whatever, if there is whatever problem that women or girls in South Africa are facing, I can't tell her that doesn't exist. I can't tell her, no, don't believe them. I have to be able to tell her that without making it gruesome, maybe in a PG way or whatever. But I have to tell her the truth, you know, and, and you. send that message, you know, and then at the same time still be a rapper. So it's a thing I balance. It's, it's literally like being... Um, a dad and a husband and then being a rapper or being a person who raps just the balance of those things is is a tough thing it's just so you balance everything from your time all the way down to a message to your child everything is kind of you know because i used to think this was one person or i used to think i could be um whenever mang was at my interview and i as in you know what's the difference with me minang in jay mang vuga vuga nyela pe kone nyo ploma nes chita vese nga hambe nyo vali opi kopi you know what i'm saying and and the nguya nga shinchanga I realize now that I can't be that guy. I can't be Muntonga Shinchanga. I'm going to say that I'm going to be a man. 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 I'm going to be a You know, there's a whole different set of responsibilities than closing down Opi Kopi. You know, so um, I've learned that there's two different sort of sensors or sensor and questa are not necessarily one person at least in terms of um responsibilities and duties maybe in terms of personalities but in terms of i can't take the rap game the same way i take the crib we are almost there just four more we are almost <laughs> sure. there how does it feel to be the best sa rapper uh, or how does it feel to be the best selling sa rapper of all time it feels great you know, I just don't know if I still am. Nota would know these numbers more than I do. Um, I've literally in my entire life, except now that I'm doing this, um, maybe more on my own, have checked any numbers about anything. Um, that that So when I heard, I even didn't believe it. You know, the first time the numbers were coming out, I'm like, there's no way we sold that much. You know, I'm like, there's no way we're leading. There's no way the cards. There's no way Questa is. You know, it was just some night because I never checked it and never saw it. So if that's still the case, then it feels dope. I guess you know, it feels. It is what it is. You know, whoever I guess finds these things extremely important um, is 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 is, you know, probably happy. But you know, it again speaks to just the support that people show. You know, it's just all all love. Skalengukbongi support. Yeah, Bessie Bonga Guma, Bessie to Melak Mariva Pen. The last three are more like notes that they go in. I, no, hope, I hope you are ready. No, these I'm last not. three. <laughs> I, I hope I've seen this. Well, I guess you have a long time. Yeah, you don't have to answer yeah. if you don't want to. The first one, 
why did he release a single three days after Kid X released his album? Oh, no, that one I can answer. Yeah. I think it was based on, it was a telecom thing, as far as I know. Um, we had a thing with telecom. Uh, was it after or before? I think we released before X or after. I actually don't. Um, it was a telecom thing. We had a deal with telecom, um, and the first licensed song was um, Spirit. Um, and then the second one was uh, Ivorvai. Uh, but apparently Vorvai had to have been released before they can use it in, in, in whatever way. Or, you know, they they asked for that to be the case or whatever the situation was. I never had the telecom conversation, so uh, it's not, it wouldn't be something I would know. But that's what I was, you know, made to made aware of. Which is, the song has to drop and then this telecom thing was also supposed to drop i think on the same weekend or in the top of that week or whatever the situation you know uh, but as far as i knew um it was that and as far as, as even when i have the conversation with x even till today it's like you know you, you know what i what kind of went down right or as far as you know what i know you know um so I don't know. It wasn't, and, and, and it was always sold out to be some sort of malish, malicious type of thing. I even saw tweets from, you know, um, Dugza, you know, saying that was selfish. And, 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 and in hindsight, it may have been. But in, 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 in sort of reality, I did it because I thought it was either contra like supposed to happen for this telecom thing. You know, in conjunction with the telecom thing. I didn't, so in, in fact, if there was anything that could be moved, it was probably the drop of whatever was not tied to telecom because they i mean they have this campaign ready and they want the song to have dropped so maybe that song must drop and also i don't sign off the drops i mean so it didn't come from a bad place no not at all sure. not at all not at all the last two hey nota goes in the first one so these are <coughs> the last two from nota mm -hmm. Do you think, oh, obviously he puts it, does he think he did right by TLT and Magua after signing them? I don't know. Um, I don't think I did enough. I, I mean, I say this, I have a, I have a relationship with Magua and TLT, right? And I don't think we did enough um, as as the company, as Rap Life, you know? Um, I don't. I think there was such a focus on on the cash cow or whatever was bringing in the cash at that moment. And that was Cuesta, you know? Um, and, and so much so that a lot of the things were neglected, maybe not on purpose, maybe on purpose. I don't know, you know, but I mean, when, 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 when we signed, um, ETLT, there was a whole plan with an album. Um, I was with them in studio working on albums, but now when we have to talk about dates and drop dates, I'm going to come in a little conversation, you know? Mm. So, um, as far as that goes, no. I mean, I was literally, mind you, I was with them at Hurricane. I, I did a show at Hurricane um, just a couple days ago and had my quiet and TLT. And, but I constantly have these conversations with them. Yeah. Know? I'm constantly in, in, but I, to be fair and to be complete, to answer that question bluntly, I don't think we did enough. I, I think it happens on any label. I yeah. mean, I've always also been a, a fan of the Rockefeller days. Yeah. I think Abu J and, and Damon them could have done more. Mm. with um, the likes of Abu Bini Sigo, Abu mm. Freeway, mm. <coughs> etc. Yeah. And I've al I also still get a lot of people who feel we could have done more with Easy New York at TS Oh, Rekord, yes, yeah, you know? yeah. I think I it happens on that. any label. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a lot of labels out now, same thing. That, that is probably Fans happening. feel like, but, yeah. but, but. Yeah, it's, it's so music. to be, yeah. And, and that's why I don't want to, you know, kind of, duck and jive or what, what and, but that's also why i still have a relationship with the guys because i have these honest conversations with in fact we have a, we're spo they're supposed to come to the studio and you know to come record some things or whatever but they got like their own thing going on but it's not it's not without agentic thing again or what but 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 i'm still you know out there but you know um a question and answer situation would would be me saying not enough yeah. Not by far. No, I've asked all your 20 questions. The last one now, bro. Uh, you. Yeah, I'm sure you're happy wherever you are in the US. <coughs> the last one says... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Where, where, would, where would you be if Nota didn't take you away from Butterbean? <laughs> 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 
it's a uh, no, tough it's question not. to answer because I don't know. You know. I think a lot of people think I discredit Nota for his part in my career. In my, in my career. And I don't. I love him for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 but to ask where would I be, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's it's like if I was to ask, uh, where would he be if he had not met me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's a neither here nor there type question. You know, but uh, the reality of the things is the shit that we did together. You know, that was, you know, um, very tough to repeat. It's very tough to do again. Um, so I'd probably, in fact, to be honest with you, without a younger, I'd probably be still you know, because I'd stopped rapping at one point. Is it? Yeah, I went to the hood and I was like, ah, so I don't talk about Spanish. But it was for a short while, you know, and um, it was right after I'd left Bada Bing. And we younger and Nota came to the hood, um, you know, to do the out, you know, to do the out, and this, that, and the third, you know, with Taibo, he didn't manage, you know. Um, but Nagon, I don't think I'd completely, completely la at the towel because there was also just other possibilities that were brought to my attention went to, hey, there's these avenues and blah blah but you know obviously feeling like ah, but I'm being like or whatever the situation say I think that it looks so it was it was still that whole I plan al gas visit I'm gonna be sure none none you know but being so looks in selling a chum fuck on you know um I feel good young no 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 la vida you know bazong to do so I don't know if there's a an answer to the question or to where I'd be, but I know that I am here because he had a big role to play in that shit. You, you both did great things together. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Insanely, some some won't ever be repeated. Yeah, you, know you can I mean? never repeat what you did. Yeah, I mean, and that's why it's just, you don't notice attitude or personality on social media is like so aggressive and things. And, and, and sometimes there are things that are said and I'm like, I know he doesn't mean that because I know him, right? Mm. Um, and but I know what he wants out of it, you know, or what reaction he wants out of it because I know him, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and because of that, people think I sort of must not like him or must have a weird relationship. Yes, the relationship's not the same; it's a little weird. And how know. is the relationship between you and Nota now? Now, now I won't lie to you; there isn't any. Okay. Um, in terms of a regular conversation, you know, but a conversation will be had at least once a year or something. But you know, there's no, it's not, it's there's no relationship per se, mm. you know. But still, you see, it's like for me, it doesn't change the things that happen. It's like why I'm saying I'm sure as, as Chaisani or this, that, and the third, or or whatever. And maybe yeah, as Chaisani, what about the You know, but me nagung shincheli this is chuni, you know. Um, so. For me, it's it's like how I get close to someone or feel um, emotion for someone is because of, you know, the actions we show each other in terms of just the relationship or whatever. So his value add to what Cuesta is, is insane, right? Um, the same uh, with our other partner, Spana and Leroy, you know what I mean? And the same with my actual skill and talent and what I brought in, you know what I'm saying? So I've, I've, I'll never delete it from the story. You know, it's not something I just go, no, let me say this part and then delete that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I've been here 16 years and I know I haven't done this shit alone. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that unaware of reality. You know, I'm not a, that oblivious or that sure or that, you know, cocky to, to even think that that's even possible. You know, in fact, the more, more than no time, more than me. Okay. Maybe not more than me, more than no time, more than Leroy, more than anybody, more than slick, more than smacks. What, what is the people at home that, that, that really built, um, these brands really, because, um, there may be a dope marketing campaign and this, that, but if people don't care. They don't care. Yeah. All right. So yeah. it's the people's care. And when they care, they put in their hard earned money into supporting the thing, which is then what makes, um, these brands or a quest or what, what, what it is. And then, 90% of the time they end up forgetting that it comes from people and then they start thinking they're bigger than people and yeah. that and the third, you know? Um, so I'm not, not aware that I'm not a self-made person. You know, I'm very aware and comfortable with that because I never claimed to be none of my raps and none of my things. Do I ever claim that I, I did this by myself? In fact, when I say the by myself, it's, we did it. We did this ourselves mm. because I know that there's a we that we're doing that 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 puts me in in these positions as much as this expanding sense out now in terms of just making sure the skills up there is making sure if you're gonna say the car 
unfortunately that guy who walks into the room better beat the car you know you can you can you can say you're the best all you want but if you walk into the room and you walk out of that room and you weren't the best you have to come back and try to figure out ways to be that thing so that's the work i put in in terms of just oh i must feel okay oh i must feel okay you know so mm. it's 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 all these things coming together to create this 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 great brand or, or thing or whatever that people adore and love you know so people must misconstrue the thing or want people to react because they want you to react the way that they think <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying it's like wait what you know this is why I, I i rarely have opinions on twitter because it's like if you don't say what i expect you to say i fall off how do you handle the hate on twitter though i don't i just let it be yeah yeah i don't try to convince people to like yeah, me if you be, if you already decided you hate i'm it's not my job to kind of convince you otherwise it is what it is man. When i'm sorry you have to carry that with you yeah. yeah when we're just talking about what we're talking about i also listen to dame dash a lot and when he goes on about all the work they did yeah. and he's just yeah. you know sometimes i'm like shame man you know jay just needs to answer de- what is something jay. Jay. i just give him his props <laughs> or his flowers in public you yeah. know but um but you can never erase what they did together yes. whether you like it or not whether jay says something or he doesn't yeah. the whole world knows yeah. they did greatness together yeah you know? i mean so, there's that also but then there's is there a willingness to open up that portal to kind of have the conversations about what we've done together because i don't close any sort of uh, it's like uh, i'm open like guys will come to the house guys will come and meet guys can, you know what i mean regardless yeah. of what the relationship may be seen or may perceived as on twitter i don't live in twitter yeah you know i'm and i live in skin in life in flesh in here you know um and i understand twitter as the tool that it is and nothing more to me you know so um there's maybe things that I also take to reality because I've seen on Twitter, right? And I go, oh, so this is how we must feel. But I know better that even that La Vida knows better that he, that he could go, he could say something and he probably thinks, I know that he's not saying that, right? To me, if it's, if it's about me, right? Or what he probably, it's like if he wants to advise me on something, he'll say it so harshly, it'll look like hate because he wants me to understand it right or, or whoever else he's talking to so that's why his, his intention has never been to bring down anything or whatever and our situation needs to be um one of a conversation but i'm always open to conversation no i like that bro and not not which song is your favorite but which song is your biggest song in your entire career i by my numbers i think bazobal i think it's possibly nyas with tabs was nyas fella bigger than ngutu they were at some point ngutu would lead and then nyas fella would come up and then, well with regards to what would be um whatever numbers would come yeah, out commercial then, success yeah. yeah it would be they'd be like this you top know top three let's say top three so nyas fella ngutu and spirit probably okay probably spirit yeah. Okay. I mean, there's, there's like, you know, Namayin is a big performance joint. It's like, it's never not get a reaction in any way, shape, or form. Uh, there's oh my babo. There's but yeah, I think the top three would be, would be, um, spirit. In order, probably good, Nyas Fela spirit or Nyas Fela good spirit. Okay. Have you given Casper his flowers? Yeah, definitely. I All mean, the time. I'm yeah, yeah. It's I I perform his verse. I haven't. I don't delete his verse. Nice. Right? I literally just let it play, and then I keep quiet, and then watch them do it. Get ready, stalkers, I like her, and I just vibe to yeah. it, right? Um, and even during that, I go, yo, shout out to the homie Cass for for this verse, you know. So I mean, it's yeah, it's always been love with Cass and I. It's always, always been there. I'm so proud of you, bro. Having seen you in the beginning and how tough it was for you to break through, um, I remember I just could not understand why you were not blowing up those days at mm, YFM. Mm. But just to have seen how God works and just how your entire career has unfolded, um, that's when you get to believe the greatness of God. Mm. You know, So I'm very proud of you, my Auti. Uh, um, I'd love to give you your flowers. I appreciate you. I love you very much. Thank to you. make a silly one, and to just to, to have just seen you not change, just keep this humble attitude throughout all these years. When I knew you before you blew up, mm. all the way to now, is you're still the same Senzo, you know. And I even think everybody that you've worked with, I think. Um, 
I, I don't even think there's probably any, any one of them that's mad at you. That's none of my business. But I really do think you're just that much of a cool person. And I think Unkulunkulung atang at Kobega at Busis, Makogonko Gwenza, Nomde Noako, me outi. May you build a, a, an amazingly loving, beautiful, happy family. May your kids grow up to carry on that legacy. You're an incredible dude, my brother. Thank and you. And I love you very much. I appreciate your two hours today. Thank you so much, man. And I love you too, Anakrut Manlam. I mean, like without you and without Ukbabaza, I mean, but you just heard what you heard and you said you decided to just plug it and you've been the same since consistently. So, and I'm sure I'm ringing for myself, um, there's a lot of put-ons that, that, that come from your hands and your hard work. You know, there's a lot of people that are on that comes from that, even on this platform. I'm a chance I'm at our camera, you know. Um, that's what you've always been about, just building and building and building with everyone. You know, I'm just a product of what you were trying to build in any case, you know, so. Um, flowers to you too now and I love you so much I've been here 16 years and, and, and there's very few people who are consistent um, in terms of at least who and how they are you know I've seen people go from I'm an bonga konje must meet I'm an so how so with I'm an oh so unje you know and you've always always just shown um, in Dwana love and I've, I'm, I'm very proud and happy to have been one of those in Dwana you know, ah, really thank you bro Can you, let's speak to in Dwana I say <laughs> <laughs> just words of wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I've been here 16 years. I want to I've been here 16 years and I'm doing something amazing in August. Oh, okay. Um, on Let's the 12th of August. Yeah, 12, on the 12th, 12th of August. 12th of August. Um, Three days after Women's Day. Okay. Yes, a day after my birthday. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, okay. right. <laughs> it's called uh, the 16th bar. Um, 12th of August, Carnival City, Big Top Arena. Um, pretty much a whole thing just about me piecing together this past 16 years, you know, reliving some moments with some fans that were there and showing the newer fans uh, some of the stuff they missed on. So literally, even the collaborations, the artists I've worked with, they're going to be there and we're going to be just having a whole... A whole moment of the past 16 years of everything parts, Cuesta. Yo, yo, you know I'm what I'm saying? It's parts. real. I feel like I've had a life that resembles a verse, you know, a, perf a perfect verse, you know. Maybe not perfect in the sense of that word, but, you know, I want to rap how they switch flows, go from one flow to another. You know, that's how I see the ups and downs of life, you know. And this has been 16 years. Um, so the 16th bar is, is, is 2023, and we're doing it at Carnival City, 12th of August, you know. <laughs> Israel, the 12th of August, the 16th bar. Let's go to the Sambian. Yes, you know, you're going to set up the So, you're going to walk into Carnival City and not recognize it, at least the big top arena, you know, because we setting that whole thing up stage. This is logish. You know how we're designing that whole thing. So, guys, as I'm for real, 12th of August, it was celebrating 16 years of Questa. It's the 16th bar. In fact, the tickets are available now with Compu tickets. So, go get them right now before the pale that I When I search for them, I search Questa 16th bar. Questa 16th bar. Yeah. Nice. Questa 16th bar. And then you'll find the tickets out there. Um, And then I'll stand on the 12th. August. I'll see yeah, you on feel. the 12th of August. I'm yes. looking forward to that one. And, and, and yeah, to have a faith okay. um, I know that, you know, we all want to have a reason to not have, have done something, you know. Sometimes we're looking for no kind of work. Ah, man, it's weather being a vum. Boni lebe kpanda yanja and talk. E ingo bo bezim nandi. I want us to try and fight comfortability in every way, shape or form. Um, I want us to not dwell too long in the things that are that make us feel comfortable, because on the other side of that comfortability is even more com of that uncomfortability is 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 an easier thing. So outside, behind every hurdle, 
or after hopping over every hurdle, there's a satisfaction that will um, probably change a life that is strong enough to change a life or change a direction of a life. So let's not get too comfortable regardless of our situations. And if our situations are really bad, let's not accept that they're really bad because we are being comfortable if we do that. You know, So comfortability works in both ways. You can't be comfortable with being good and you can't be comfortable with not being good. So get out there, go do your thing. The world is just waiting on you to get up and do something. No magu ye ni jayam. I'm sure you don't tell them to also understand that into yenza. But no magu ye ni just get up and go do it. No bugu to stop playing every day. So guzwa some betina si Spani no sale when ala pe kriti no logo umelo muni muto zo sala pants um kotele um kotele vivi. So get up, get off that crate, my friend. To get off anywhere that is sitting now. Get off that. Um, 10,000 rand couch because you are comfortable. Let's all just get up and go do. So if we become more of that, Abanta Bazenzela, Nam Lentong Ikela, no. Nabo, Nikela, no, right? And Kanini Bamba, Namutok say, comfortability is a problem. So please, let's not get too comfortable, Mzanti. Let's get up and go do something, anything but make it worthwhile. Senzo, Nyaklanyo. Tango and Arutman. As I say, Yes. <laughs> I'll pull him out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, I'll see you soon. Po 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 po. Shapa, it's fine. It's fine. Wow. <laughs>